Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 14 Hostile League Group D, as in dog. Bottom left hand corner, we have I Love XTO starting as the Green Terran 3 clock location. We have Machine starting as the Grey Zerg. And I've been miss, I think I've been miss saying this group this entire time, and I've maybe had it. This is a problem with the overlays, is you got to update the overlays in between. And I think I did Group C and said this was Group C again. This is Group D. The videos are labeled properly, but I think I've been saying Group C this entire time. So for those with a keen eye, you'll now see it. This is the problem with having like the additional fancy bells and whistles. You have to remember to update the bells and whistles. And when it's like the one and a half hour breaks, or oftentimes when things get busy, it's hard to keep track of where I was in previous matches. Anyway, this is not the situation I was expecting. First of all, I was expecting White to overtake XTO. And secondarily, I was expecting Machine as a favorite potentially to go to the finals. But here, he's on the verge of elimination, going up against XTO. XTO sending out an initial SCV to go ahead and put a barracks at a forward location on his ramp, just assuming that Amanoff, uh, I think this is a safe play actually, assuming that Machine on Monopoly is going to opt for the 12 hatchery rather than for an overpool or a nine pool, just going for an overpool or a nine pool on a map that has the additional mineral patches. I feel like the additional mineral patch actually serves Zerg the least because it forces Zerg to be more aggressive as other players can sit in their base a little bit more safely. I mean, with Zerg, typically you drone somewhat less, or I should say you create a fewer workers than your other, the other races equivalently. And so, yeah, you get a little bit of additional minerals, but usually as Zerg, what you're hungry for is getting that gas. And the additional minerals gets you what? Additional Zerglings, potentially? As compared to Zealots or Vultures or... Anyway. Feels like this map... Still, I'm not going to say it's Terran favored outright, but I am going to say that I feel like it benefit the extra mineral patch benefits Zerg potentially a little bit less than the other races. And that's just me honestly speculating entirely. I'd love to hear more professionals, the deeper people, talk about what they feel in that regard. It looks like some additional Marines being produced. SCV is going to find a 12 hatchery right off the bat we do have that spawning pool being created let's see if xto decides to get aggressive he is opting to get aggressive supply depot blockading the rest but drones actually pulling off the line to go ahead and a lot of drones pulling off the line to go ahead and harass this back i don't know if this was just spotted or what or machine had a really good sense of it maybe just feeling that that that, that scv scout was out a little bit too aggressively Worried about a potential bunker, but now we got four Zerglings potentially coming out. Additional drones able to instantly to get on top of the Marines. One drone down. Maybe this is just standard play on Monopoly, and I haven't seen it yet. This is to go for this sort of aggression. Six Zerglings are going to be out shortly. One drone has been taken out, so that's going to stymie Machine's economy a little bit. But now XTO needs to be in flight. He's got three Marines. And they are exposed in open field, and a lot of Zerglings potentially going to run them down, but XTO just grabbing the command center behind this. I like that he's moving that SCV out to the north just to go ahead and either disrupt a third hatchery or confirm its existence. The Marines now in a mad dash. There is a gap here, but with this amount of Marines, should be safe. It looks like two of them going to get isolated out, one of them taken out without even really much of a hoopla. One Zergling dedicated dealing with the other marine out in the field so now it's just four marines left out on the front we do have a refinery that's been grabbed from xto and he does have his natural expansion up and running machine waiting outside let's see if he goes for a zergling speed or if he's just going to opt to go straight to lair or if he's going to i assume machine's going to go for that three hatch play that he tends to stick more towards meta but right now xto with a big economic leap able to get that command center Lost, what, a handful of Marines, but was able to slow things down. This SCV now able to creep in to confirm three hatch replay and an in-base three hatch on this map and a tech delay. So Machine signaling that he wants to go potent very likely for three hatch Mutalisk and XTO just straight up spotting it. A single Zergling being brought back to go ahead and try to clear. It looks like he is able to clear that SCV out. Second gas being grabbed. And so interestingly, Machine, ooh, eating some initial Zergling damage. A lot of Marines moving out without the medics. XTO kind of going for 
more Protoss style off timing attacks here. So Marine's moving out without Marine support. I'm almost wondering if Machine is feeling like, okay, I did, I took out those initial two Marines. Let me just go three hatch Muta and punish you for not having enough Marines on the ground to deal with a Mutalisk attack. Realizing that you went for a faster natural expansion. So I'm going to punish you for doing all of this. But instead, XTO moving out. And is he potentially going to lose additional Marines? The Zergling's able to get on top here. And XTO once again expending Marines this time for basically nothing. The lair is finished. This was... Keep in mind, because of the earlier command center that meant there was going to be fewer marines overall machine testing that front door there are th marine, three marines otherwise but now xto in some trouble where machine's got that spire on the way and he has very little anti-air to work with he's produced a vulture it looks like this is a very this is not a typical build order you see additional barracks being plopped down and he needs to get all forms of anti-air up immediately potentially going to need to overproduce turrets that Vulture may be there just to try to push Mutalisks back. It looks like an additional base is being grabbed by Machine to go up to four hatcheries. An Evolution Chamber also being plopped down. But as soon as the Spire finishes, Machine's going to be able to send out a good amount of troops. It looks like that Vulture hoping to engage some of these Zerglings. The Zerglings actually running straight by his Machine, potentially going for a bust. The Vulture may be going to spot it and i think this is this this is a situation where this could be a very successful bust because if the mutalists engage the marines the zerglings will be free to attack that front door the vulture without speed getting surrounded and machines easily going to be able to sit back on his four bases so now he's got a slew a huge amount of mutalisks on the way the starport just finishing but the armory's not there to get the valkyrie out so Marines are being produced. They're not going to have medic support. So it's going to be six Marines and a turret to try to defend against all of the incoming Mutalisks and the Zerglings on the ground. Two turrets alongside this barracks. First Valkyrie being produced. This is does feel like it's too little too late and very easily potentially sniped by a Scourge. The Marines just balled up on location. Machine wandering in, seeing the turret coverage. Moving out, pecking away at the natural. Easily gonna, well, potentially easily gonna be able to take out this turret here. Eight Mulas, one taken out, so that was nine. Nice repair on that missile turret to try to buy time and keep things alive. The Valkyrie's out, sitting back. The Zerglings, with those Marines out of position, testing the front. There is a medic there. But while all this is happening, Machine easily able to macro up behind this. It looks like he's going to back out for a half second. Honestly, I think he could just dedicate this. He's going to go ahead and go for the Carapace upgrade. He's got a Hydralis then being built in the background. Machine doesn't need to press the issue. XTO needs to be very, very careful. The Valkyrie now sitting between the natural and the main, just trying to mitigate the damage and losses. Machine going ahead and backing off with his attack force. And right now, XTO is not in a position where he can apply any form of pressure to Machine. So Machine at even supply count should surge ahead. Two Valkyries out. So we'll see if XTO tries to make something out of this, where he's going to set up... So he only has a single... Well, never mind. He's got the two medics. Maybe he'll try to move out with these medic marines, apply pressure that way. There's already two something colonies in place, though. Mutalisks sweeping around, looking for some damage at the natural expansion. Able to get several SCVs. The Valkyries have now been spotted. It looks like those mules are going to back out. L not even a touch of damage there. The Overlord looks like it is going to get taken out, though. I don't even know. Yeah, a couple Scourge already being produced to deal with that, potentially. Carapace 1 on the way. Machine is in the red, but Lurker Tech almost there. XTO now moving out. The Medic's getting split off. Danger Town. So a little bit of distraction there. The Zergling's being cleaned up otherwise. More Mutalisks out in the air. So it's going to be a control group of Mutalisks, and that plus the Sunken Colony should be sufficient. Single Sunken Colony to the north and trying to walk up a ramp. That's not going to happen. Third gas up for Machine. But Machine's troops completely out of position to assist in a defense. Four Sunken Colonies down. Carapace 1 finishes. 
Hydralis Den is here. Lurker Tech could be on the way. Looks like positing them to the north just to... So the Valkyries have revealed themselves to the north here. That's potentially making them just bait for these Scourge. The Mutal's diving in. The Scourge landing right on top of those Valkyries and an easy cleanup from Machine in the upper right-hand corner. And now Exio in a lot of trouble. More Marines midfield. They need to get back to home base just to stay in this match. Machine now in firm control of this match. You have 45 SCVs, yes. But Machine has three gas, is easily going to be able to tech to Hive. Exio really cannot apply pressure at all here. And has kind of had to move himself in an odd build order just to stay alive. Lurker is now on the front with Machine to go ahead and potentially open things up. More pressure on Exio just to stay alive. He does have a science vessel out in the air. But Machine doesn't look like he's bothering to bunch up the Mutalisk here. Si and, <laughs> not Psy Storm. Radiate is not yet researched. We don't even have any upgrades on these. Oh, sorry, you do have plus one weapons on these Marines, but more Lurkers are flooding forward. Machine looking to pressure this. Just realizing that he's got sufficient Lurkers to maybe just punch through. The Mutalisk diving in, eating some damage. Clearing out more Medic Marines. More Lurkers pressing forward. Machine pulling the trigger. And the Lurker is able to land in the natural expansion. And with this location at the natural, that is going to be GG from XTO. Kind of a wild one, but XTO dropping game one. Machine with a convincing victory. Moving on to game two shortly. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.